Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can update uh, a specific product from this admin panel. So if someone click this update button, then it will take us to another page where we can update all those data. So now let's go to our code and we will directly go to the uh, showproduct.bait.php and from here we are actually showing all those data and here you can see the update button and we are going to use uh, give a url over here so we will say over here url let's say over here uh, first we need to return a view so that we can update those data so so we will give two single quotation then uh, let's say our uh, url name will be update view update view so let's save it Control s now we will create this uh, url in the web.php so let's go to web.php PHP but before that we also need to send the specific ID of that specific product so over here we will give a comma then we will say dollar product then this arrow sign ID so uh, what will happen is that uh, if when someone click this update button then it will get the specific ID of this product and then it will send this ID to another page so that we can update that product so let's go to our web.php and over here let me just copy this url control c and control v so over here instead of delete product we'll say update view update view and uh, over here let's say our function name will be same update view uh, update view so let's save it control s now we'll go to admin controller and create this view so let's go to admin controller and we'll say public function update view then we need to mention the id over here dollar id and then to second bracket uh, now this id now in the show product we uh, send this id then this id was uh, caught by our web.php and our web.php send this id to our admin controller so now inside it we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar data is equal to we need to mention the table name product uh, and at the top we also added the product model over here so we can get uh, every data from product table so now we will uh, give two double clone then we will say find dollar id after this we will return a view return view then we will say uh, admin dot update view so we do not have have this view so we need to create this view and now we'll say compact then doll uh, compact and inside it we'll just say data so now let's go and create this view update view so let's go to our admin folder first and then we'll right click on it then click new file and over here we'll say update view dot blade dot php so save it control s save and over here now we are going to copy some code so let's go to our uh, home dot blade dot php so let's copy everything from here control a control c and we'll paste it inside this update view so control v and we are going to remove this include admin dot body so let's save it now so now let's go to our uh, browser and let's just refresh our hair and let's just uh, let's click this update button okay so it take us to this page and at the url you can see that uh, we have a id which is 9 and uh, you also can see that uh, there is no css uh, that because uh, it probably cannot find the uh, public folder so in our code and uh, at the top inside the head we are going to mention base and over here you can see href we need to give slash then public uh, we need to give slash public and if you save it now so we are actually uh, saying that uh, that uh, we have the css in this public folder so if we refresh now we will see everything perfectly so here you can see actually so this is actually our update view page we do not have any input field now we require some input field so that we can update those data 
so over here at the uh, add new product if you click it uh, you can see some input field over here so we are going to copy this uh, input field code and paste it inside our update view page uh, so let's go to our code and we will now directly go to product.blade.php and uh, over here you can see that uh, you can see this div class container fluid paste body wrapper so we are going to copy from here and we will copy until uh, this div so let's copy it ctrl c now we will paste it uh, over here so control v over here now let's save it control s now we'll again let's go to show all product and let's click this update button so over here you can see the input field over here so let me just copy the style from here as well uh, css from here as well so let me just copy this style control c then we will copy paste it inside this uh, inside the head control v control s now let's refresh again so here you can see the input field perfectly so now uh, let's go to our code again and but before that you can see that uh, we have placeholder that it says keep a product title so we are going to remove the placeholder and have the uh, specific data so let's go back to our code and uh, and over here inside this input field you can see product title and instead of placeholder we are going to remove this placeholder then we are going to see our here value and inside this value we are going to say uh, dollar data then title and uh, let's save it control s now we do not have have to use at the data for each loop over here since we are only showing only on single data so we do not do not require it let me just save it and let me just show you that it will show the specific product title over here so you can see over here trouser for men so after this uh, we are going to so now we are going to uh, remove all the placeholder and uh, then uh, we are we will see over here value is equal to uh, dollar data price so let me just copy this control c then we will give over here control v now over here instead of title instead of title it will be price now after price let's uh, do it for the description description now quantity dollar data equal to uh, dollar data quantity now over here you can see that uh, we have a dollar uh, we have a file input type file option over here to insert the file uh, so we'll keep it so uh, what we'll do is that we'll uh, have another uh, another div option over here uh, so let me just copy it and paste over here and over here we are going to say old image so uh, over here we will actually show the old image um, that we have so instead of this input field we will just uh, have over here a image and its source will be slash uh, as you can see that we save our image in the public folder uh, inside this uh, product image folder so we are going to say product image then we'll say over here slash then we'll set dollar data image so let me just save it and let me uh, okay before that let's also just give the height and width let's say over here height will be 100 and uh, width will be 100 as well so let's save it and uh, let's refresh now so over here you can see the old image so we are going to have a input uh, level over here that says uh, change image so let's have a, a level over here so we'll say level and we'll say over here change the image so let's save it control s and if we refresh now okay it's look like this change the image this is our old image if you want to change it uh, you can change it from here and you can see uh, every product title quantity okay let me see description in the product table uh, okay description 
okay i think i did a spelling mistake let me check it des description now let's refresh again okay that's fine now uh, we will go to at the top our hair you can see action equal to uploading product so we are going to say our hair update product and it will be a post method and we also record enc type and at the top csrf field as well so let's save it control s now uh, we will we need to create this update product url so let's go to our web.php and let me this uh, copy this route again then paste it over here again now the uh, request will be post so we'll say post and it will be update product and uh, we also record the id uh, so uh, so we also need to mention uh, dollar data id over here as well so we'll say over here dollar data id so it will send the id to our web.php and our web.php uh, send our id to a function so let's say over here uh, update product and this id will send to this update product function so let's go to our admin controller again and right now we are going to say over here public function update product then we need to mention the dollar id over here then uh, inside this second bracket uh, first we will declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to the table name product then again find and inside it will say dollar id now let me just copy some code uh, from where we actually insert data in our product table and if you go up uh, you can see that uh, upload data from here we actually save those data in our table so uh, now we are just going to copy everything from this image line to uh, this line so let's say co copy it control c and we'll paste it over here control v so over here uh, let me just explain it and uh, okay one more thing is that we also need to mention over here request dollar request then we will give a comma dollar id uh, so let me just explain it first of all we are actually uh, getting the specific product id where we want to update now over here uh, inside this image variable we are requesting this file from the uh, update view dot blade dot php uh, over here if you go down you can see our name equal to file so first of all we are actually requesting the file uh, and saving inside the image variable then we are actually renaming the image name uh, using this time function so that every image has a unique name then we are saving this image in our public folder product image folder as i showed you a little bit earlier let me just show you again and over here you can see product image and then at last we are saving this image in our database and after this you can see over here dollar data title is equal to request title so uh, in our table title column we are saving uh, the title over here which we requesting from the update view dot date dot php so over here you can see the title uh, name equal to title and the rest of them is same after that we are saving all those data in the table then we are return return redirect back with message product added successfully and instead of product added successfully we will see over here product update it successfully so now let's save it over here and uh, one more thing is that we will not always uh, require to or on to like update the image so let's keep a condition over here we will give a if condition if dollar image uh, if there is any dollar image only execute this uh, portion of code 
so with this uh, if condition uh, so what will happen is that if there is any image that we uh, if we give then only we will execute those code otherwise we will not uh, okay so let's save it over here and let's go to our browser let me just refresh and over here you can see trouser for man uh, instead of this let's say over here only trouser and let's say uh, soft cloth okay quantity let's say it will be 20 okay for this we will not uh, update the image let's just click submit so over here you can see product updated successfully now let's go to show all product and let's see all the data is same or not so over here you can see that uh, whatever data we change uh, it changed over here as well now let's uh, change the image let's see if it works or not so let's click update and over here let's keep the quantity 10 and with this time we will change the images as well now let's choose a image i already downloaded a image t-shirt image so let me just uh, uh, open it over here now click submit so over here you can see t-shirt updated successfully now here you can see the see the updated image now if you go to show all product you can see the updated image over here so this is all for this tutorial uh, now in the next tutorial I will add uh, I will add the app, uh, add to cart option over here so that uh, user can add a product to their card and user also required to be logged in to uh, add product to the card. So thank you very much for watching and if you want to get notification for the next tutorial uh, then you have to sub, uh, subscribe this channel then uh, you will get notified whenever I upload a new uh, video related to Laravel or this tutorial. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you have a great day.